hello viewer welcome to pharma digital and here in this video i am going to discuss about the multi drug that are used to treat the leprosy and uh, in previous video uh, we know that uh, the leprosy is broadly classified into four categories that is tuberculoid leprosy uh, lepromatous leprosy uh, borderline leprosy and indeterminate leprosy but here for uh, and here the leprosy is divided into further two categories according to its operational purpose or its uh, type of infections one is pauci bacillary that is also known as non infectious leprosy and another is multi bacillary that is also known as infectious leprosy and in the pauci bacillary leprosy is includes tuberculoid leprosy borderline leprosy indeterminate leprosy and polyneuritic leprosy and in polyneuritic leprosy the uh, causative organism is severely damaged the skin and bone of the individual and this multi drug therapy is uh, starting by the who in 1981 by using of drug like rifampin dapsone and clofazibine it's uh, basically it's a uh, main uh, main motto or main idea is to be provide the uh, dapsone resistance and it provide the resistance of the dapsone to the microorganism and as you know dapsone is the main anti leprotic drug that are used to treat the uh, leprosy infection but after some time so used that uh, the microorganism starting to develop resistance to the dapsone and to delay or to prevent this resistance to the drug we use multi drug therapy and initially for the pauci bacillaris leprosy that is also known as non infectious we treat with the dapsones and rifampin for a period of 6 month while uh, in the multi bacillary cases that is also known as uh, infectious cases here the disease is treated with the dapsones rifampin clofazibine for a minimum of 2 years or, or or till the disease is inactive or the samples is coming out with the negative clear report and the mbl patient after uh, administering the drug for a longer period of 2 years it also kept under surveillance without any treatment for further 5 years and according to who expert committee on leprosy 1995 recommended that this multi drug therapy is uh, so much a longer period that's why we have to that's why they have to minimize the duration of duration of drug taken by the patient and that is to 12 month and this uh, 12 month therapy is adopted by the many countries and government of india has also adopted from the 1999 and uh, here a chart is uh, provided to compare the multi drug that are used in multi bacillary and pauci bacillary and in multi bacillary rifampin used as a 600 mg once a month and it is uh, under the supervision and here in pauci bacillary 600 mg once a month also used and uh, dapsone is used in multi bacillary at a dose of 100 mg daily uh, by the self and uh, administered and here in pauci bacillary is also 100 mg daily dose of dapsone are also used and like that clofazimine 300 mg once a month uh, used under the supervised and uh, 50 mg also 50 mg daily uh, dose are also used uh, self administered and in pauci bacillary clofazimine is doesn't use and the duration of the multi bacillary multi drug therapy treatment is 12 month and in pauci bacillary it is uh, treated as or treated up to 6 month and this is the dose of adult person and in case of children the dose may be reduced suitably and here from this uh, table we observe that how the multi drug therapy is effective in the treatment of leprosy in 1985 the leprosy spread all over the world among the 122 countries and uh, most of the one care cases are or one people are suffered among the 10000 populations and by implementing the multi drug therapy treatment or by using a multi drug therapy treatment this number is reduced and the uh, among the 122 countries most of the countries are free from this leprosy and it is then down up to the nine countries and here a survey is taken out in 2004 
that the nine countries suffered and here the 1000 case up to 10000 number are also reduced and as per who 14 million cases of leprosy have been completed or treated after using a multi drug therapy with very few relapse relapse means it is the failure of the treatment and after adopting of uh, multi drug therapy all over the world uh, the leprosy number is decrease and it is up to the uh, approx 90% and at the beginning of the 2004 0.46 million of leprosy or of the patients are or the individual are suffering from the leprosy and where register globally it is the number of the total patients suffered all over the world and out of which the 0.26 million people are suffered from the suffered from India according to report of 2004 and before the multi track therapy a survey is taken out that uh, 57.4 cases are, are suffered out of uh, 10,000 people and after impl uh, implemented, implementing or adopting the multidrug therapy this number is decreased to 1.3 per 10,000 people and this survey is taken out in 2005 means 57.42 it's down to 1.3 out of 10,000 people. And this number is further decreased to one person per 10,000 in December 2005. And from above highlighted point of the multi drug therapy, we already know that the how this multi drug uh, is uh, effective in treatment of leprosy. So this is all about the multi drug therapy that are used in used to treat the leprosy. Hope you enjoy the topic and uh, share with your friends. Have a good day. Thank you.